first the release of a server tracker controller. Uh, of course, it's just a PCB and we have to program it. We are gonna do it in, in, the, in the minutes. And what can it can it be done here? Uh, we have the all option to control every single motor, every single tracker. It really depends on the, on the firmware. And what I'm gonna do right now, we just just program it and con connect uh, to uh, AC uh, motors, three phase AC motors. It's pretty simple in here right now. Of course, what do I really need? Just control it. It's just a programmer. And then just connect it to the correct pin. Connect it to the computer. And be back in a minute. Let's see what's gonna happen in here. I'm just programming it. Wait a while. Completed. Thank you very much. So we are done now. And now we can just move to the other stuff. So what we're gonna do with this, uh, of course we're gonna connect uh, some kind of uh, LCD, like in this case, and of course some kind of fuses and connectors and the other stuff. Actually it's just simple like that, just this is the front, just remove it and you have uh, the same PCB and then you have a LCD and the keys just connected together and this is all the device and what we're gonna do in here we are not gonna uh, use DC motors in that case we, this is of course the same firmware and you can just use it no problem but we are removing this all and we will connect in here AC motors so what? alright uh, so what do we have in here? Well, of course this is covered version we have uh, boxes in here and, the, and just cases for, for the PCB and uh, or, or we gonna show you today just the connection how to connect uh, this device with the uh, AC inverters inverters are very nice because you can just control everything in the, the, with the motor and the motor is pretty uh, pretty uh, in, in safe way controlled right so let's connect it and push that button and when we have it connected we can just control it manually right so it's easy to turn the water on both directions south west east uh, east north and of course I'm gonna show you some kind of configuration in here uh, how to connect it here you have a, uh, a cover this cover you just remove it and see the connect control board and what is most important is that you can supply our device with with this source so it can be power supply for the motor and it can be power supply for control and uh, to do it you just connect this connector as a plus 12 volt to controller and a COM port in here I don't know if you see it, but I hope I hope that will be visible. And uh, of course, you have uh, some kind of exporters. Uh, what kind of porters in here? I'll just straight in the documentation. Uh, so what we're gonna connect in here is just one of those communication port to control this device. Uh, in such case, we're gonna connect just. Uh, 12 volt com x4 and x5 that's gonna be good enough what we're gonna uh, change in the configuration is just to parameter 11 we're gonna just put there 12 2 uh, instead of 0 in one of the inverters I have it just made, so that's why it's reacting on my push button. In that one is the configuration is not done right now. So it can be just run by the switches run and stop. 
but of course I don't want to do it manually if I will want to, if I will I'll just change the parameters so I have to change the parameters and I'm going to parameter 11 okay and just switch this position from 0 to 2 and then just program it and from now it will be responsive in both direction of course so I can just you know change the change the direction of uh, through the controller and of course I can just change the speed of the of the engine of the motor by the frequency so now it's gonna be moving up to 26 hertz 40 hertz 50 hertz right so I can just easily manage my device if I do have any problem with the uh, with the speed of my controller and speed of my uh, tracker and the construction is not prepared enough I just can use the inverter and that will be much easier to manage it so what is the main difference uh, in here with the uh, with the controller we are delivering uh, uh, the main difference is of course you can just connect whatever you want uh, you can just control tracker with AC motors we can just control track and brushless DC motors and of course you can just control DC motors up to 10 ampere uh, so it's it's pretty much as a current uh, what more in case of that kind of inverters this type is 81 81 in cases with the 82 you have options to control uh, three wire uh, motors which are not the three phase motors they have only two coils so they are two phases and they might be useful if you are building something small so this is a lot of opportunities with this kind of inverters but you have to see what kind of what, what type of you, you are using uh, about the cabling of course one of the inverter I will use as a power supply that's why I do have connected this wire to this first slot as a plus and then I have a two wires to control directions so you have it the east west then one wire to come port which is just a ground to make sure that you have a ability to to control the, the signals right so those two signals will not work without this wire of course in in such case this wire is for the power supplies because just a mi minus and that's just a plus in that case you don't have a plus you have a minus and you have a two direction wires just north south and this wire is just the ground to make sure that this signal will go through those cables right so that's all you have just three wires to one inverter and four wires to second uh, inverter and that's all for for the communication uh, in, in such case I'll, I have to remove this all pins because I don't want to uh, provide any power to the to the bridges in the case of DC I don't have to do it if I want I can just provide the power from that uh, slot as a power supply independent to those devices but in such case it's much simpler to do it like that so I'm doing this like that <laughs> 